I'm Cirilla Young. I'm an animal care intern here, subbing in for the animal care supervisor. I'm going to be feeding our amphibians today. So we are going to feed Tigger, the tiger salamander, and then Pebbles, our leopard frog. And we also have our garden slender salamander here, but we don't really feed him because he's really small, and you'll see in a bit. But we feed them crickets here. We cover them in calcium powder to make sure that they have all of what they need nutrients-wise. So that's why the crickets look like ghosts. I want to make sure that they don't come out. No, there's like crickets on the top. Oh, they're all there. <laughs> So salamanders wise, they are amphibians, but they resemble reptiles. They just need more moist environments to survive in. So Tigger here is our Western tiger salamander. You can tell that we were very creative with the name. Um, he eats small invertebrates. So like these crickets here are the perfect size for him. They live in very moist environments. So typically you won't actually find them in the wetlands as a common amphibian, but they can live here. This guy is not a native species though. He's invasive, so, but we still like him. He's very cute. So salamanders wise are interesting. What makes them different from reptiles is they respire through their skin. They don't have lungs. So with the garden, uh, the Western tiger salamanders, they have to respire in moist environments. So that's why their skin is constantly needed to be wet. So his environment here is, resembles the, west, the moist environments that they have to survive in. So we make sure that he has a lot of water here and a lot of water in the soil as well. Let's see if we could get the crickets to come closer to him. <laughs> they don't want to cooperate today. Maybe if we give more. There we go. He got one today. You can see it barely fits in his mouth. <laughs> so we're going to move on to Pebbles, our northern leopard frog. He's been very hungry today, so hopefully we'll be able to catch him eating. He's a little clumsy, so sometimes, oop, you want, maybe he'll go for, oop, he got one already. So frogs, especially pebbles here, are very interesting to watch eat, because if you catch them at the right moment, you can see that they blink to help them chew food, because when they blink, it creates more pressure by squishing their brain and their skull down onto the food, so it helps them chew, because they don't actually have teeth to help them chew. So if you can catch him. A fun fact about the northern leopard frog, he's the state amphibian for Minnesota and Vermont. Oop, he just blinked right now. I don't know if he caught that, but he, bl he blinked, so hopefully that means that he's able to chew and swallow the food. He's a little clumsy, like I said. He missed right now. <laughs> there we go. So they live about five to eight years. So that's why frogs are usually a more common pet because they can survive a little bit longer than other amphibians do. And then our last amphibian that we won't show eating because it's really hard to catch. I think he's over here. He's very small. He's scrawny Johnny for a reason. He's our garden center salamander. Um, we don't actually have fed him anything, but we think that with the algae and the moss rotting in here, that there might be small little white bugs that he's been feeding on. He's too small for any of the crickets, so. And that's it for animal feeding today. Catch us next week and we'll be feeding our tide pool animals.